Hello Booktube, my name is Juan, I am just one reader and I am here with a book recommendation and that is The Days of Abandonment by Elena Ferranti. Now this is a pretty simple straightforward book but I really really enjoyed it and I just wanted to share it with you because I think many readers out there on the Booktube sphere have gotten to know Ferranti um, from her Neapolitan novels, the My Brilliant Friend series, and even though I do believe that that series is quite superior to this, I think many people uh, would be interested in this novel, so I just wanted to really recommend it. Now, mm, I believe that this novel has many ingredients or elements that are highly present and more um, evolutioned in a way in the Neapolitan novels. Um, but you can really enjoy this book for what it is, The Days of Abandonment. So without giving the story away, it is a fairly straightforward story. It is essentially um, a story where a woman uh, in her I think early 30s, is left by her husband. And that's pretty much it. Of course, it takes place in Italy because it's Elena Ferranti, but that's pretty much the premise of the story. And that's, that's what it's about. It's about the days of abandonment, how this woman is feeling all of her internal turmoil and all of her uh, dealing or, uh, the coping mechanisms and everything that happens uh, when this husband leaves and the way that he leaves. It's a very short novel, so that's actually uh, something that I really, really enjoyed and I think that's partly why I wanted to recommend this book so strongly to people um, because I think this is a great read if you need something refreshing, if you need something that might cleanse your palate, something that will be easy to read, incredibly accessible. It, this is a book that your mother could read, um, your mother who doesn't enjoy reading and just wants something to read at the beach, uh, something quick and light, but that will also provide a lot of thought-provoking moments because, you know, it's about many things that are very relevant today, like gender and um, just how you deal with things in life. It's about essentially metabolizing and digesting a traumatic experience in a way. Um, what I loved the most about this book was the writing. Um, if you know me as a reader, um, what I look forward to the most or what I value the most in any book is the writing style. Um, if I don't get along with the writing style, it's very hard for me to enjoy a book even though the book has many other great components. However, Elena Ferranti, just delivers. I mean, just when I picked this book up, the first chapter, the first lines of the first paragraph, I was like drinking it in, just like this fabulous Earl Grey tea. It was just so luxurious um, without feeling pretentious. Now, I do think that m some people might think the writing gets pretentious later on in the novel. Um, there are some f moments of melodrama, there are some moments of uh, very flowery writing, purple prose, if you will, but for the majority of it, I was just really, really enjoying the writing style, especially at the beginning and at the end of the book. I thought the writing was superb. That's just a personal um, opinion, a personal taste of mine. Um, there are some bits in the middle where it did feel a little uh, corny even, but it never it never got in the way. Um, so I really loved the writing style. I really loved how um, you might think, based on the premise, that this book is really not very plot heavy, when in reality this book read almost like a thriller to me. I could not stop reading. It was so darkly thrilling and and enthralling and that the things that this woman is going through oh my god there's a scene like the climactic point of the novel i was biting my nails with anxiety it was so ridiculously taut it was so ridiculously 
uh, I don't know, an, an, an anxiety uh, inducing. It was so great. I really, really love how emotional and visceral the experience was, but also intellectual and cerebral. So I really love that and I think many people will enjoy it. My only problem, it's not really a problem, but my only thing with this book is if you already have read the Neapolitan series, you might find this book um, a little bit like like this was the pre-stage uh, that Elena Ferrante needed to do, like the first um, rehearsal or the first, um, like she's experimenting in this book, what she would later on uh, execute perfectly in the Neapolitan novel. So you might feel a little bit like me um, that this book is sort of Elena Ferranti starting to um, think about some things that she would later on absolutely magnificently write in the Neapolitan novel. So you might feel like this is a little like the Neapolitan novels before, you know, like a, like a first draft of the, of the Neapolitan series. But I think it still has a lot of value, especially because it's a very, very short read and it's very, very interesting and very uh, visceral. Uh, at least I found it to be incredibly visceral. Um, if you have not read anything by Elena Ferranti, please read this book because this book will make you really fall in love, I think, with her writing style, her use of uh, language, her use of dialogue, internal dialogue, external dialogue between characters. I think you will fall in love with how she writes women. I think you will just find the melodrama really interesting as well. And I think it will make you interested into um, picking up the Neapolitan series later on and you will really, really enjoy the experience. So that's my recommendation, The Days of Abandonment by Elena Ferranti. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this book. Um, I can't believe I did this entire video with a fake British accent and I kept a straight face almost to the end. <laughs> I'm starting to crack. But anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Yeah.